see somebody for like yourself, bro. It's just Boston, you know, a lot of families, low income. We come here, we practice, and it's free. It's a home away from home, you know. Jonathan is my man. He he epitomizes what's what's great in a young person. So, you know, him being homeless or not having a place, that doesn't hold him back. I was homeless for a while, you know, made the bad decisions and ended up in results of my mom just saying, you know, I can't take it anymore. You're gonna have to find another place to live. Not knowing where you're gonna lay your head next. I, I hated it, man, it was the worst. And I'm, I'm telling you, like, it's it's the worst feeling. But honestly, I'm glad I went through it. Wait, yeah, he went, he went. I think it's baseball that actually, to be honest, was his lifesaver. Because all of a sudden, baseball was the talent that he had. And it was the tool that he had to show his greatness and to show his leadership. Like, I, I was at my lowest point, honestly, and I came to him crying one day, and I could tell you he spoke to me man to man. And ever since then, I've never come to him crying ever again, because I know what to do, you know? I know how to get out of it, how to help myself out of it. You come from the hood. See, you will take, no matter what happened in your life, and I don't care if it's dirty, I don't care if it's anything, you're gonna be great. It's about where you're heading. It's not where you come from, because if we judge him based on where he comes from, someone already wrote the story for him. What we're doing is we're rewriting a story of a young man that had what some might call hardships. What we're gonna say is those hardships are what has made him resilient. It's why he perseveres, and that's why he's gonna be an extraordinary young man moving forward. We gotta talk to you, baby. He wants to play ball, but what is it that we have to do to ensure that he's successful while doing so and along the road as well? So that's kind of really the platform of how we try to set everything up uh, within the base. It, you know, it's, it's all about building culture and, you know, really a culture of expectations. You know, and I turn around and says, we're all about belief, love, and hope. And we believe in these young folks. It's, it's the sense of belonging. It's the sense of wanting to be there. And there's some, there's some sort of magic in that sauce that I really can't explain, but it's there and we really look to capitalize on that. It's happened to everybody that showed me, they supported me. I mean, it was just the best, you know. I haven't had that feeling in like months, a year, you know. Jonathan is in college. Jonathan will complete college and Jonathan, Jonathan will continue to be this great young man. I would show Robert Lewis my grade and he's like, I'm proud of you, like that means a lot. I've never had no no influence, no mentor push me the way he does. At risk, underserved, disadvantage. You ever hear those terms? Yeah. We don't use them. What do they say? Like, 8 to 10% of young black and Latino kids around the country graduate college. I'm going to shatter that norm. It's going to be the expectation that every single one of our kids can. They can. And how do we do that? It's folks like Jonathan and others that are going to be this repetitive process of really showing young folks what's possible. I feel like this is helping me because it's making me grow as a person, you know? Making me grow from the person I was three years ago to now. And I'm, I'm proud of my improvement, you know? And to be honest with you, this year was my best year in school. And I, I was proud of myself. So many people are proud of me, you know? And honestly, I'm just, I'm going to finish school for my mother, you know?